Well, cool. so what I want to do in this video is kind of to talk to you about what is a slope triangle and how are we going to use it. So first of all, a slope triangle is a triangle that is a right triangle. Okay? That's something very, very important for us to understand. All right, and it doesn't matter what, how, what direction it's going to be. We're going to look at a lot of different graphs that the slope triangle is going to be all twisted and turning. But the main important thing is that we have a right angle. Okay, when we're creating a slope triangle, we need to make sure we're going to have a, a right angle. Now, we're going to use a slope triangle because what we're going to do is we're going to want to find the change in the distances between two points. All right, and let's just go and you know, kind of take a look at it. When we look at a triangle, we know that we have leg one, leg two, and a hypotenuse. Leg one, leg two, and a hypotenuse. Now, if I said, you know, let's go and take a look. Let's say I said this distance was three, and this distance was four, this was seven, and this distance was three as well. All right, um, if we looked at this, if I said, all right, what is the height from the top of the triangle to the bottom of the triangle, you could say that distance from top to bottom was three. And if I said, what is the distance left to right of this triangle? Well, you could say from here to here, that distance is four, right? So if we're able to determine the lengths of these two triangles, what we're essentially doing is determining the distance between these two points horizontally and vertically. And you can say the same thing. If I said, what is the distance between these two points? Well, this side of the triangle is seven. It can't be. The distance between these two points can't be larger than seven or smaller than seven. That distance has to be seven. And what about the distance between to these two points horizontally? That distance also has to be three. So how are we going to use a slope triangle um, to help us determine the slope? Well, there's a couple different ways we can do this. But there's one thing I want you guys to understand. When we're looking at two different equations, and I'll just kind of give you two generic graphs here. If I give you a graph, when we read it from left to right, if that graph is going up in the positive direction, we know our slope is going to be positive. And if we have a graph that's going in the negative direction, when we read it from left to right, then we know that graph is going to have a negative slope. So let's take a look at a graph and determine how can we use a slope triangle to find the slope. All right, so I'm just going to kind of pick some points, 5, 2, and then let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 2, 1, 2. All right, so I'm just making up a problem here. And this is going to be a line. All right, now this line travels through these two points. Just like, uh, I don't have it, I just tricked myself. Remember the triangle, I created like the two points at the end, right? And we, if we were able to find the side lengths of that triangle, we could really determine the distance horizontally and vertically between those two points. So right now, we have two points. The problem is, we don't have the sides of the triangle. So what we do is we create horizontal and vertical lines that go through our point. Remember, they cannot be diagonal lines. It has to be horizontal and vertical lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some nice little dotted lines here. So here's my two vertical lines. And then I'm going to create two horizontal lines. All right. Now, we don't really need all this excess over here. I'm just only going to do when the lines intersect. And I'm going to erase the rest of it. Because what we notice is when these lines intersect, what we have done is we have now created a right angle. All right, so I'll draw one in red, and then I'll do another one in purple. Now, you might say, well, which slope triangle do we use? Do we use the one that's um, purple or above it or below it? And it doesn't matter. You just need to pick one. I'm creating both of them so you can see you can do either or. But now, all I need to do is if I can determine, sorry, I just got to erase a little bit. If I can determine the distance of these sides of, these tri of the triangle, I can determine the distance between my two points horizontally and vertically. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can still subtract the points if you want to. So if I said, all right, here I'm at 2, here I'm at negative 5, um, I can subtract those two values to find this distance. However, when given a graph, it's very just helpful just to count you know, your units. So I'm going over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I check down here. Is that the same distance? Yes, it is. What about up here? So to go from here to here, I'm actually going down. But we're not going to worry about what direction yet. But I went down 1, 2, 3, 4. 
And here, I do the same thing, 4. Now, there's one thing we could do as far as reading a graph. And there's two different ways you guys could do this. So if I wanted to determine the slope of this graph, and I'm going to show you, tell you, talk to you about both different ways, because I made videos on how to do it one way and how to do it another way. One way is you can read the graph from left to right. So when you read it from left to right, you go on the positive, and then you go down. So reading it over here, I went at positive 7. Well, I'm sorry. So the change in my x was 7, but then I went 4 in the negative direction. So that's a negative 4 sevenths, which equals a negative 4 sevenths. If I did it here, if I read this from right to left, I went down 4 and then to the right 7. So I'm still going down 4 to the right 7. You could also read it the other way and say negative 7 up 4, which would be the same thing. 4 over negative 7 is equivalent to a negative 4 sevenths. However, sometimes I think this gets students a little bit confused. So here's what I like to do. Don't worry about what if it's going positive or negative. Just say, what's this distance? 7, 4. So therefore, I know my slope is 4 over 7. Then I determine what is my slope doing. Is it going down from left to right, or is it going up from left to right? And since this line is going down from left to right, I know that it has to be negative. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what a slope triangle is, and that's how we use it. Thanks.